losing Connect everybody around me I'm a catalyst passing the energy I just wanna see everybody have a good time The weekend's here, trust me, it's time for you to rewind It's a weekend Some of these guys, they're going to roll with anybody that will embrace them. I'm not really comfortable with that. I try not to surround myself with people that I have to be defensive around. Like, imagine my man is over here. I'm going to go pull up on him. And you go over there, and then you run right into somebody who got a problem with you. And you're all off balance because you weren't prepared. And then you have problems. That's why I don't usually associate. If a person's on the gate, I kind of put them on the other side. So I don't leave myself vulnerable to that. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN, coming back with another one, man. But I just had to show y'all that clip from Worthy Mindset and 50 Cent. Shout out to Worthy Mindset. Go follow them on Instagram, and y'all already know 50 Cent. So go follow him on everything that that motherfucker on. But, you know, that was a great message. And, you know, I just wanted to share that with y'all because you definitely got to be careful of these type of scenarios and situations especially in these days you know and when i tell y'all about you know how things are going out in the world and all of that shit that's not to scare y'all y'all already know we walk in faith not fear but it's just awareness awareness when you know that you may have problems with certain people, certain groups, certain circles, individuals, whatever the case may be, you know, you really do gotta watch for people that fuck with everybody. You know what I mean? Because you do got a lot of people that's just, they just dying to fit in. You know, you got a lot of people that's lost out here as well. So they gonna go with anybody that will embrace them, just like 50 said. And if you like close to these individuals that just rock with everybody, man, nine times out of 10, bro, they don't even be knowing the energy that they are around. And that's even more dangerous and annoying at the same time because you like, yo, like, why do you, when did you start talking to these motherfuckers? You know, when did you connect with these mugs? Like, how did this come about? But you know, and not that you even care, it's just like, yo, it's just crazy, you know, how that happens and, you know, the people that's just not in tune with they self to where they are gonna try to fit into any group, you know, and you gotta think like, how does that make you look when you with this person that try to fit in with every group and then you hanging out with him and he just going to any place and then it's just like, you know, you look like one of the motherfuckers that's trying to fit in too. Because you are, you know that you don't belong, you know, with these mugs. You never kicked it with them like that, you know what I mean? But your boy is bringing you around energy that you not even familiar with. You know, bringing you around people that you don't have no knowledge of. So it's like, yo, that will make you look crazy. And then have it be a situation to where, you know, you don't fuck with these people or you got a problem with these mugs and then there you go. You know, you have conflict. You got a situation that you wasn't prepared for, and nothing is more irritating than that. You know, especially in these times where you wasn't prepared, you caught off guard, you know, and it's just like, yo, it's bad energy brewing, you know, because, you know, you salty at this motherfucker for bringing you around that, and then on top of that, now you got a situation that you may have to deal with. Not saying that it's all that 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 every situation like that gonna spire, uh, spiral out of control, but if you smart, you don't wanna put yourself in that position in the first place. That's why you move smarter. And that's why people like 50 Cent is a survivor because of the shit that he just said. He not still here for no reason, but at the end of the day, you just got people that just don't move smart. You know, and when you moving, when you moving sloppy out here, when you moving reckless out here, when you not conscious out here, then, you know, you have situations that happen that you could possibly lose your life in. You know, you have situations that could have been avoided and whatever happens, you know, it's just like, yo, you know, you could be, you could end up doing something where you're going to be mad at yourself for doing it or that, or that can land you, 
you know, in trouble with the law, you know, locked up, you know what I mean? All types of shit just because you was caught off guard because of the energy that you was around. So, <clears throat> again, I'm just bringing awareness, bro. You know, I'm a little under the weather, by the way. But, yeah, I'm just bringing awareness, you know, so y'all could be safe out here and don't end up in these type of scenarios, man, because motherfuckers is really on demon time. Mugs out here really got something to prove, you know, especially for y'all younger cats. You just got mugs that's just willing and ready to throw their life away just for a name. You know what I mean? Ready to throw their life away just because it's you that's glowing. It's you that's that's winning. It's you that got, you know, a different type of energy than everybody else. That be enough sometimes. Just to be honest, bro. Just with your energy in itself. The glow that you have. You know, the knowledge that you bring. You know, the people that embrace you is enough for somebody to try to take you out. Is enough for people to hate on you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yo, you really just got to be careful of the places that you go and the people that you around. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just it's just a bad time. I always tell you, it's just a bad time for that shit. I'm not telling you to be scared. I'm not telling you to, you know, go out there and do anything wild or but you know, you do have to protect yourself. And protecting yourself is not just by going out there getting weapons and carrying shit. That's not the only protection you need. Sometimes the best protection is to just not put yourself in that position. You know, sometimes the best protection is using your best judgment. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's like your best protection. You know, we know we covered it by the most high, but listen, you still got to be smart. You still got to watch your step. You still got to be careful of the of the uh, the positions that you put yourself in, bro. Because if you value yourself, then guess what? You ain't go put yourself in these type of situations. You know what I'm saying? And I know sometimes you just run into motherfuckers. Sometimes shit happens. But most of the time, that shit was a, it, it, it's avoidable, bro. And before somebody get up in here and talk about like you running or ducking and hiding and none of that, ain't, ain't nobody saying that, bro. It's just being smart. And the motherfuckers that think like that be the main ones getting their head, you know what I mean, going upside of because they got something to prove. Then that's what that's how motherfuckers that got something to prove think, nigga. I ain't running from nothing, nigga. You know, with all that all that energy. And nobody telling you to run from anything. I'm just telling you to be smart out here. Be wise. You know what I mean? Think about what's important in your life and not only protecting your energy, but protecting that as well. You know what I'm saying? Because, listen, bro, you got a lot. You probably got a lot of people depending on you. You know what I mean? With the changes that you making, the, 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 the places where you going, you know, the vision that you see, you want to protect all of that. Not be dumb out here. Being dumb, it, 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 that's for motherfuckers who don't got a vision. That's for motherfuckers who don't got nothing to protect. That's for motherfuckers who don't got any assets. That's for motherfuckers that don't got nothing to lose. Bro, you got shit to lose. And when you got shit to lose, you got to move different, bro. When you a man of purpose, you got to move different. When you a man of value, you got to move different. Because there's always some dumb motherfuckers that's out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's always dumb motherfuckers that want to put themselves in these positions. And then, you know, at the end of the day, man, it's just like, bro, like, just stay focused. Stay focused. When you focus, bro, like, listen, dog, you ain't even, you ain't even on that like that. You ain't even trying to be out there risking anything about you. You know what I mean? And I tell you to put yourself first. And listen, bro, when you do that, bro, that's you being concerned about your kids. That's you being concerned about your business. That's you being concerned about your family and your investments because you want to be here, bro. You know what I mean? Some of y'all, y'all know we are, we men, bro. We, we, we are the protectors. So when you do dumb shit that land you in jail, when you do dumb shit that land you unalive, then it's like you leave your family exposed. You leave your kids exposed. You leave them vulnerable, bro. 
And that's selfish as fuck because you want to be emotional. You got shit to prove. You want to be out here in the mix, in the crowd, at the party, at the club. Instead of thinking about what's important. You know what I'm saying? And when you're thinking about what's important and then you know where you're going in your life, bro. You're not letting nothing steer you off that shit. You're going to be like, huh, the club, the hood, or to my goals and dreams. Or, you know, to my business, my house. You know, where, 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 where abundance is at. You know what I mean? Where creation is at. You're going to want to go to where the creation is at. Because that's where the magic happens, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's where the growth happens. You know what I mean? That's where you at your finest, where you at your best. You know what I'm saying? When you in your solitude, bro. So don't, don't let nobody pull you out of that. Them the motherfuckers that gotta be around that shit. They ain't got nothing else going, so they got it. They okay with being around any and everybody. But when you know you don't rock like that, bro, then listen, man, you got to man up and make the right decisions and right moves for your life. Because you know you don't rock like that. Why you think I be telling y'all to stand by y'all values and morals and principles out here? When you stand by that, bro, that's going to keep you out of a lot of shit, bro. I promise you, it's going to keep you out of a lot of shit. Because it's just some things that you just don't do. All right? It's some things that you just don't do, nigga. And, and, and hanging around anybody, being in the crowd, being amongst these the, 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 these these demonic ass energies and shit like that, you just don't do it. You just don't do it, bro. You live that life, especially cause like, come on, bro. You know when you live that life, when you used to be from that, when you used to be around that, like that shit owed to you anyways. And like I said, bro, a lot of the motherfuckers that end up in some shit, it be the motherfuckers that be knowing better. Like, damn, that's why that happened, because he knew he knew better. You know what I'm saying? And when you know better, and if you knew better, then you should do better. You know what I mean? Or, you know, some bullshit go down. Some bullshit happened that was just super avoidable and didn't have to happen. It didn't have to happen. And don't get me wrong, like I said, I know some shit you just can't control. Some shit you just can't. Some shit just be happening and it be like, just like, how and what the fuck, you know? But I want you to realize when you on this journey, bro, a lot of those things, sometimes those be downloads. Those be warnings from the most high. Those be red flags for you to see too. Don't nothing just happen for no reason, bro. You know what I mean? Sometimes you run into a motherfucker that you thought you had a problem with, and then it be all love. It be cool. Like, oh, okay, you know, y'all got to check each other's temperature, and then it wasn't even like what you thought it was. Sometimes those situations be happening, and it be like, boom. You know what I mean? The most high, you know, got y'all together without these groups and without alcohol and substance in the mix, and y'all got to chop it up, boom. Situation, daddy, right there. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that be that be that shit be happening, bro. It be happening for a reason. You know? So at the end of the day, you just gotta be smarter, alright? And that's my word, man. My name is Jay C and it's CN Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. All day. I'ma keep all putting day. in work, yeah, that's all day. Uh, I'm in here to do my job, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. What that's I do ain't day. a facade, this is all J. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. I'ma that's keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. You know I'm in here to